Some say 2024 is the year of the dragon, but I believe it's the year of the Diddy Foils. Hello, my lads and lassies. Milan Watts here, and for the blissfully unaware, longtime friend of Mr. Beast, Chris slash Ava Tyson, has recently been called out for a number of disgusting allegations from the likes of their love for love <coughs> content and child predatory <coughs> behaviour. Now, a video that was made by Adox was brought to my attention, and this has gotten many others attention detailing Chris slash Ava's depraved infatuation with love <coughs> content. And for those of you who do not know what love <coughs> content is, and the ones that I truly, truly envy for not knowing this. Lot of content is pornographic art based off of young children, but no, it's okay because they're a thousand years old, so it's legal. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they walk, talk, and act like a child. If it's still over than 18, it's okay. And more videos that I found about this was from Prismsvid, which detailed Chris slash Ava's creepy interactions with a child who was seven years younger than her when Ava was 20. I'll also be referring to Chris slash Ava as just Ava from now on because it is a head wreck to just constantly do that to you. But now firstly I want to talk about the videos made about Ava but more importantly the lack of content. Now I'm going to use Dr. Disrespect Your Children as an example here. Immediately when this happened people abused and thrown shit at them even when it was still allegations. And then when they were proven to be true, obviously because it was quite cutthroat, it got worse and more rapid for our videos about Dr. Disrespect. But when the Ava allegations came out, silence. These YouTubers that would make a video on this in a happy, I've seen creators that will see a topic about, let's just say, Dr. Disrespect and have a video out within 30 minutes of the allegations being out. But now with the Ava allegations, it's been radio silent for the past few days. It's been like three days, four days, and there's still no silence from the big actual top commentary channels like Ludwig, Pyrocynical and Moist Critical and I feel like they're not talking because they, they might be afraid of the getting on the bad side of Mr. Beast, you know, the biggest channel in the whole world, especially Ludwig who's afraid of any authority, especially when he cared about the Hassan situation and even changing the thumbnail about it. It's Editor Watts here. By the time I'm editing, Most Critical just talked about the situation and already talked about it on stream. So I tip my hat to him, I apologise for putting him into it, and I retract him from the example, but I believe my point still stands. Editor Watts here again. Ludwig also posted, but I'm not going to give the same credit I do for Moist Critical since his video only seemed to be made because people were calling him out and he has a record of being the nice guy that people are starting to see through anyways. Back to the video. But to look at Ava's creepy behaviour, I have to force state that any man, woman or non-binary that shows interest in literal child <coughs> pornography is a degenerate creep. Because nowadays on the internet, I cannot make an opinion like that without having somebody criticising it. But now, Ava's love for love <coughs> comes from a convo made years ago in which basically she had a liking with a controversial artist known as Shadman. Now, Shadman is an OG in the pet <coughs> game. One of the goats, if you will. Alongside Epstein and fucking <coughs> Jimmy Savile. But Shadman first got attention from the internet for creating <coughs> part of actual legitimate children and depicting them being sick. <coughs> Used. Main examples include back in 2016 when Shadman made art of Lieutenant Corbis, an 11 year old commentary YouTuber, and made art of Killer Keemstar's real fucking daughter who was 8 years of age, giving Donald Trump the Monica Lewinsky treatment, which sparked outrage, obviously. Now as a result of Shadman going on a sex offender speed run, he received a cease and desist from Daphne Keane's lawyers after he made art of her as well. And despite these hap despite all of this happening, he has still continued to make disgusting comments regarding more children. Now keep in mind, despite all the decrepit shit that Shadman did following the drama, Ava Tyson still thinks to support Shadman and openly brag about financially supporting him as well and his website showing that he literally portrays suggestive art of a young girl with a BBC tattoo on her and what's even worse is the exact same image was put up on his wall with it being visible in Mr Beast's old videos so with all the drama involving Shadman drawing <coughs> fucking art based off of actual children we can still see Ava openly associated with Shadman and Ava was in her 20s doing this engaging with the content so there's no time for this 
Oh, I was young and I didn't know what I was doing. When you're a grown ass person, you should know fucking better. And even more evidence there was in 2017, when Ava was a clear adult with a working fucking brain and interacting with basically porn about Mabel and Dipper from Gravity Falls. You know, the show about two 12 year olds going on a mystery hunt because definitely every normal person looks at this kid's show and thinks, hmm, what if the twins fucked? Ava also said how, quote, they're twins, so at that point it's just masturbation, right? <laughs> you know, making comments regarding art of two children being in an incest relationship is just silly, Ava. This is the part where we all just say Ava in unison with an added laugh track. Even worse for Ava was that they snitched on themselves in a tweet of theirs where they shout out Shadman for having safer work content when she pulled up the website on stream. Now, not, not only does that mean that she actively is associated with the, with the website by putting two and two together, but she is well aware the site was predatory because who would say that without knowing what the fuck is wrong with it? Ava also begged Shadman to create NSFW content of an anime character who was just only 10 years old because, ah yes, we should let this man near kids. Now, we made a pass the first half of this video, but it's now the other major allegation that I saw from the prison video that I need to praise as a major breakthrough and what made me make this video. But it detailed Ava's inappropriate convos with a minor when she was 7 years older than him. The minors named Lava and they were born in November of 2003, with Ava being born of July 1996. Now screenshots provided in the prison video show how Ava offered Lava moderation perms for her streams. This was when Lava was 14 at the time and Ava was 21. And and later Ava makes a tweet saying how one more Patreon donation they get and they're releasing their nudes. Lava sends them a $1 donation calling them a big boy. Reminder, Lava is 14. Lava is a minor. And then Lava replies with, but not five dollars. Pathetic. Just kiss. Just kidding. Kissing face. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, I don't even know what to fucking say anymore. Another reminder that, that Lava is a minor. But Lava adds him again and says, check again. Which Ava responds, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. I can't keep fucking defending this. I'd understand if he'd play it off as a joke, but it's a joke he's doing with a minor. Prism's vid shows that Ava and this 14 year old had both direct contact with one another through Snapchat, which is downright fucking creepy at first. And second of all, Lava shows a weird snap that he received from Ava stating, I'm coming for America. Now, I don't give a fuck if, if this is just Ava being quirky Ava, but this shit isn't gonna go down well when you're a grown adult talking to someone seven years younger. More evidence showed the weird names they would call each other and then the weird videos they would share with one another. With Lava tweeting to Ava, Chris, practice with this and a picture of a banana. Because definitely Ava is just going to eat the banana. Nothing else. Am I right guys? But Ava responds with James Charles and states, Lava's mom tomorrow. Boards of a feather flock together. Like I'm trying to do some serious fucking mental gymnastics to even consider saying this and I'm trying to defend it, but it just cannot fucking work. I'm I'm having to play fucking mind games just to make it even sit well in my head. So what the fuck is he thinking? To really nail in the hammer in the coffin that Lava and Ava were close friends, is Lava was even ending up in Mr. Beast's Minecraft videos as a helper because yes, it, definitely he was chosen at random after having sexual types of conversations with Ava. Now, let's go from sexual texts to sexual actions. Now, in Carl Jacobs' Discord, I'll look at Lava and Jedi, two people who were both 16 years old in this Discord. Remember that. Now, Jedi said that he sold his camper van to Lava, and Lava said how he was going to use his camper to travel to a secluded area in the woods of North Carolina to meet Carol and Ava. Now, Lava says how much he loves Carl, with Jedi even stating that Carl simps for him, and that Carl is offering ice cream money if he does stuff for him. Yeah, nothing fishy here, guys, don't worry. And then Lava asks Jedi why he's coming up to North Carolina. And then Jedi replies with because and a winky face. And then Lava replies with a winky face back. We're creating the next fucking Epstein's Island but now it's in the North Carolina woods. 
More messages show Lava pinging Carol and stating, See you Tuesday, baby girl, and screenshots of Lava's Instagram posts. Did you remember he's 16? The pic literally has Ava and Carol on the sides of him. I have no idea why a 16 year old decided to meet up with two grown ass adults, be allowed to go, and why him and his friends are giving winky faces and even creeping me the fuck out when they're the victims. But Ava friending someone when they were 14 years old is ev and eventually meeting up with them is at best weird and at worst predatory. <laughs> this whole situation is fucked up especially with the fact that Ava is part of the biggest YouTube channel of all time being Mr. Double D Breast who has a fan base with mostly kids. And with the Jimmy new tweet posted by Jake the Viking just leaves a really bad <laughs> fucking taste in my mouth. But anyways, this has been Milan Watts. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and like the content. But if you don't, dislike and send a hate comment. And as always, I'll see you lads and lassies in the next one. Also, join my Discord. Peace.